Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about one of the strongest builds when it comes to PvP in New World. This is all around the musket, and you guys are thinking, you know, that guy way at top of a rock, shooting you so, so far away, continually being annoying and kind of ruining your gameplay in OPR. Well, guess what? This is much, much different. And I thought this was never a better time to really cover this with so many people complaining about muskets. So Reborn is a player, a great player in EU that actually played in our NA 1v1 tournament. He did very, very well and ended up getting second place and just losing to Trick Trick in the finals. If you guys remember that tournament, it was a lot of fun to actually cast that. And it was a lot of really, really good players and duelers coming out and playing in it. So his build specifically is actually going to be medium armor. You can see right now I'm actually running in a light equip load. So let me switch that over to medium real quick. Uh, he does run medium, which already signals that this could be a very, very interesting build. If we have a dex piece that is medium, realistically, we don't have to show you that, uh, you know, changing it over to medium, but here it's a heavy piece. Uh, but basically, he does run medium. This isn't a big deal. This isn't a big part of the build. But do remember, guys, medium 22.9 is going to be the maximum you can get in that medium, which you are going to want to utilize. You'll basically just throw in a medium chest instead of the light chest. and uh, Or sorry, not a medium chest, but a heavy chest instead of a medium chest, and you'll be good. So right now, we're running a medium and light everything. So instead, just run a medium everything and then a heavy chest. And like I said, you'll hit that 22.9 perfectly. But let's get into the actual build itself. So, when it comes to attributes, this is a big part of, obviously, the build. We need to make sure we're respecting to be exactly this. So, 150 dex, 150 intelligence, 200 con, or you can go for the 200 dex, 150 intelligence, and 150 con. This is to make you guys really, really tanky, and you'll actually be very, very annoying to kill. With the musket, you're still going to do tons and tons of damage. That's why he goes for a much or opts for a much tankier build in these 1v1 scenarios or even, you know, any really PvP scenario. He does really, really well. I've watched some of his videos. A very, very talented player, but also his build is very, very hard to play against. So he's running medium, running that 200 dex, 150 int, 150 con basically. Or you can, like I said, he goes 150 dex, 150 int, and then 200 con. Because at 200 con, guys, remember the pip that you're going to be getting is 10% increase to physical and elemental armor, making you just so much tankier and so much harder to kill. So let's take a look now at the actual passives and some of the abilities that we're going to take before we get too much into this build. So let's go to the weapon mastery and start out with the musket. Where's that musket at? It is here. All right, musket. So when we take a look at the musket tree, this is a basically the setup he runs. And like I said, he does change some things up depending, and he also changes some of these passives around. So sometimes he takes more sharpshooter passives than this. Very, very similar in regards to his current setup. This is going to be that powder burn, sticky bomb, and traps all together. Very, very viable build for trapping with medium armor. And one thing I want to get into before we talk about his rapier build is actually that he takes shirking fortification resilient on pretty much every piece. It's a very, very important part. Shirking fort is going to help you so, so much when you're in medium armor as you are going to be dodging constantly throwing down damage and that's exactly why as well if you want you can take the opal on the musket and the opal on the rapier because you're going to be using your dodge rolls non-stop to stay at a, a very small but nice distance away from your enemy so now that we know the shirking fortification and resilient are the main pieces of the armor do remember that you definitely need to be taking powder burn on top of your weapon that's a weapon perk that you're going to need powder burn is huge there also I want to say that the heart rune doesn't really matter specifically right now. It depends on what you like to do, whether you want to opt in for a detonate or you want to opt out for the something like a grasping vines to even provide more CC and keep you alive or something like a heart rune that gives you mending form, gives you some heals and fortify. It's up to you, of course, on what you want to do there. But I want to talk a little bit about the rapier now, because of course, this build is only as good as it is with the rapier. So let's take a look at the rapier. When we go over the rapier, he doesn't have the full bleed or the full grace. He actually runs the repost evade uh, option here. So let's take a look at uh, the repost evade. So of course, evade is important. It's going to be able to dodge so many different attacks with the evade. We have repost going to be fully leveled up as well and this is what the final rapier build looks like for him this is a very very strong build because you're going to have the option for flourish and finish to actually do a lot of damage for you and really just continually keep them away from you so you're not going to actually take tondo so you're thinking 
how's it going to do damage? Well, if you don't know, the base damage of Flourish and Finish isn't huge, but the big deal here is that you are going to be able to stagger your opponent and push them back. And that's all what this is about. Pushing your opponent back, using your opponent for that kind of safe evade, and then actually having evade to get away from your opponent. It's a very, very strong build. This is exactly why, because you are not going to die with these rapier abilities. These are going to help you out help you stay alive, and help you CC your opponent as much as possible with their post in Flourish and Finish. Now, you're going to want to play this very, very smart. Because you're playing medium, we're shirking for resilient, you're actually going to be much tankier than most musket players. So you're going to have a lot of people come up to you thinking they can just insta-kill you. That's not going to be the case this time around with this musket build. You're going to be able to throw traps down and use that to your advantage. In this PvP gameplay you're about to see from him, he uses these traps really, really well. And this isn't actually his best performance. I should have found his best performance, but I couldn't really get that video downloaded in time, and I wanted to get this out to you guys as quickly as possible. So if you want to watch some of his performances, he does play in the PvP 1v1 tournament that was on YouTube probably a couple months ago. If you want to look for that thumbnail on my YouTube channel, definitely do so. And I do want to say before we get into the gameplay, because I'll let you guys, you know, just hang out there, and I'll, I'll kind of leave you to it, but... Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. And if you want to watch me on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash iGraphicEye, Monday, Thursday, Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Game of the game, guys. Pressure, pressure, pressure. It is. It definitely pressure, is. Against some of these right. builds, you have to apply pressure or you're just going to lose. Another fun match, though, here. You know the guy, Nerf Bow. And as you run away, both had great round twos. We'll see what they do in round three. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting matchup. Mage, mage again, and Nerf Bow. You know, was very dominant versus Mage. It's gonna be interesting to see how as you run away. So, you how do here. you play this if you're a Mage? How how do you? You got to get the storm out. You have to land the heavy. I mean, they're gonna try to dodge it, but um, I know it's counterintuitive. But you you need to um, just stay in the mid range. You know, try to play your pylon best you can, and don't get close to that rapier because the auto damage will. So that's you. something I want to talk about real quick. Is the flamethrower does activate repost now? If you guys don't know, in the PTR, flamethrower activates repost. It's absolutely huge, and that's exactly what you saw there. Nerf bow reposting, but he's still getting Ooh, that flamethrower off. Look, look, big damage here. In tomb going out, as you run away, has nothing. Rapier is just going to shred him. Looks like as you run away, is stand out. He's trying playing in the ice storm, trying to bay. stay alive though. He's trying Stagger. to. Yeah, Stagger's coming out. He needs to build some space. I know it's counterintuitive. Oh, he almost went out of the arena there. And Nerf Bow just going to pepper him with musket fire. He needs to stay away from those grenades. He needs to stay away from those traps. He needs to play that pylon. Pylon going out. Storm going out. Misses as you run. Uh, Nerf Bow has vantage here. Flamethrower trying to come in. Flame fireball goes out. Flourish A and big flourish and finish, finish adding more damage away. down. In tomb here. Yep, but look, Pylon's putting out consistent damage. Seems like it's missing. Flamethrower coming out. As you run away, stand out in his game for as you run away. Nerf Bow takes this match. Nerf Bow with a Oof. musket is applying so much pressure, which is crazy because you would assume, you know, as a musket, you're playing the, you know, runaway hide game. That's not what Nerf Bow's doing. He's not, he's not afraid to play up close and personal every once in a while as well. So you'll see something that you don't usually see out of musket players, the confidence to play that close range combat. Yeah, Rapier, I mean, it just shreds, man. So much DPS. As you run, I mean, as you run away, kind of big mistake taking flamethrower versus this matchup because uh, pillar would have been much better here. Um, the totem's the actually going to be going too. down I mean, so spike, spike quick. Would have been better. Pylon just as well. Yep. Yeah, fireball's going out, but it's not enough. He knows rapier's just going to outwin the DPS race versus this, and even win the trade with the evade because he's not going to take the damage. He's actually doing kind a fairly well he's job though at kiting this. He's doing a decent yeah. job at kiting the flourish and finish. Though is going to be huge for Nerf Bow to get some more damage down. If he can play this flamethrower correctly, he still has a chance here. The fireball is going to miss, though, which is huge. That's a big part of yeah, your damage as a fire staff. Grenade hits, too. Yeah, no, he needs to just hit light attacks, man. As you run away, he needs to hit these light attacks. Flamethrower is not cutting it for him right now. And, and then, okay, Reaper's coming out. Flourish Finish comes out. Stops his burnout. As you run away, cannot run away. Unfortunately, that's going to be a bummer. Fireball goes out. Pressure coming on from as you run away. Flamethrower is out again. This is his play that he's been doing. That's all, his, his best chance is when you get the ice yeah, storm up and the flamethrower at the same time. Oh, man. No, absolutely. Pylon's going out, but uh, big damage. Oh my god, so it's close. It's down to As the wire. Really it's low, down to the wire. We're going to get a reset. Hits. No, there's no oh health pots goodness. coming out. And flame wow. goes. The flamethrower plus the totem. As you run away, takes it, man. That's huge. I mean, huge plays by As You Run Away. Another one to one series, which is huge. We're seeing how close some of these fights can be. Doesn't matter your build, it matters about the player, how good you are as a player. Yeah, this is going to be huge. I think Nerf Bow made the mistake here of trying to trade a little too much with that rapier. He was a little bit um, more confident than he was in previous rounds. Maybe played a little bit, uh, you know, too aggressive. The one thing I did yeah. it, you know, the one thing that As You Run Away did a lot better there is you saw he put the Ice Storm up 
and he would flamethrower under the ice storm. So he's adding so much damage there if Nerf Bow's in that in that radius. And he also has the totem shooting the entire time. Just imagine how much damage that is if you're in that area getting hit by all the all of that. You know, the pylon, you're getting hit by the flamethrower, and you're getting hit by the ice storm. And then he can just reset with the tomb. So it's a great build. Yeah, you saw how good it was. Let's see what happens here in round three. All right, here we go. Match starting. As you run away, getting some hits, pylon goes down. Let's see, can he put pressure? Grenade misses, but right near the pylon, can it take it out? Storm going out, Nerf bow runs away. Grenade takes out the pylon. As you run away, trying to put damage, but again, gets caught by the flourish of vision to burn out again. Flamethrower going, repost hits. Oh, big damage trap. This big is the combo for Nerf there. bow. In tomb, by as you run away, keeping him alive. Pylon goes out again. Let's see, he pots from Ezra run away. Nerf bow still putting pressure, has not potted yet. Flourish of finish hits again, but he decides to go for the pylon. Good he's play. trying to get that pylon Flame though, he's taking a lot of damage the there. That trade might not have been worth it. He's going to pot up and he's only going to be at full now. Taking damage as we see a big burnout by Ezra run away, actually almost going out of the arena. He's trying to get closer and he's using all of his stamina. He might not have any stamina left. Hits him here, bam, hits him here. Gets him with a combo, big combo, heavy attack into flourish and finish. Not looking good for Ezra run away. Big damn here, he's going to entomb into the storm, running away. And putting down pylon, but he cannot get it off. Oh, he did. Fireball going out. Oh, as you run away, just taking so much rapier audio That was a, a lot of finish. damage by that rapier. He could not get away from it. He stuck on him like glue.